Cha and Ivan, let's talk a little bit about housing. Because one of the things that um, many um, nurses want to know about is what is the housing like? Um, talk to us a little bit about, I don't know, you know what your situation is, if you have, uh, if you are renting, if you have been able to buy a house. Um, I know, Char, you, you're just new to Texas. Can you share with, a little, with everybody who's watching a little bit about the housing situation where you are living? Mm, yeah, right now. Right now, I'm living in an apartment. So um, the renting in here, um, it's like one uh, one thousand one hundred. That's uh, like a one thousand one hundred um, bucks, the payment um, per month. But it's um, the inclusion is like the water and then the sewage as well, and then also it depends really how is your like consumption, electricity. It's like six to seventy dollars is what I'm paying every month, and internet is like it depends which plan you're going to pay, because what we have in here is like the unlimited one, so it's like fifty bucks per month. So, pretty much I can say like the electricity in here compared where I came from in Kentucky, it's way like cheaper. Mm, yeah, interesting. Mm -hmm. It's way cheaper because back there I'm paying like, especially when it's like the regular um, season, I'm paying like, you know, like 100 bucks or 110, something like that. It ranged like that. But here it's just like 60 to 70 bucks. So there's a huge difference as well mm. with electricity. So all I can say, like it's electricity, it's way cheaper than where I came from. Oh, so, that's interesting. I didn't mm -hmm. know that. Okay. Yeah. And, and Char, I know that you mentioned your family live in Odessa. Mm -hmm. how, is, how does the housing compare in Odessa to what you experience where you are? Well, my aunt, she, since she's like in like a rural part of um, um, Texas back there in Odessa, she, um, it's uh, like cheaper, but mm -hmm. it's, she told me it's like a 1000 box because she already purchased her house there. So they own it already because she's been here for like 35 years now. And like way of living there, she said it's like more cheaper mm -hmm. in Odessa and probably because it's like away from the city proper. That's why, because like I'm asking her some stuff like, um, like the electricity and everything. She told me that it really depends on their consumption. But so far, it's she's just paying like fifty bucks to sixty bucks like that. So it's not that like too like big, big difference compared to me paying in here. So pretty much, it's more of like um, what you call this uh, like uh, it's like not that too different with the Odessa compared to in Plano. Okay, so that's Wait. interesting because I think that it do, it does depend where you are in Texas. That, you know, you, you're going to have, a, a, just generally speaking, a more reasonable cost of living than certainly than where I live in California, for example. But at the same time, there are differences within Texas itself. So I think that's important to um, to mention. Um, and I see um, uh, we have a Nash is saying hi. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, Jen is from Keller, Texas. So Jen, I'm just curious, what's the cost of living in, in Keller, Texas? Um, because it might be a little different to what Chai is experiencing. Um, Ivan, tell us about the cost of living, or the, sorry, not the cost of living, the, about the housing where you are. Oh, we, know. we, we own a house. So um, uh, that's the good news for people who want to come to the United States. Like it's, it's, uh, it's affordable to be able to buy a house. So. Like of course the 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 living is more comfortable. Like we started, like, and we also started living in an apartment. In an apartment here are very spacious and um, very livable. Like um, we came from UAE, we have we have like condo condo units. The problem is the the, the parking, and uh, it's a it's more congested, smaller place here. When we went to New Mexico, so our apartments basically are bigger. So when we came to Texas. We were like planning to get an apartment. However, we have a, a rescue dog, and um, it's it's our dog's fault that we need oh. to buy a house. So it's, oh. it's his fault, yeah, because he's he's a big dog in New Mexico. Our, our apartment has a backyard, so he owns the backyard, and mm -hmm. we were looking for a house to rent or an apartment to rent, and um, we we couldn't find one because like um, because our dog is big. So 
Okay, we said, okay, let's just try to purchase a house. Mm -hmm. As long as you, have, as you have a good credit score, then you'll be able to get, get the house right away. So we bought a house. So what to expect in Texas? Everything is bigger in Texas. Everything is bigger, Everything is bigger in, Texas. in Texas. So basically, <laughs> you live here in a big house. If you're coming from another place, they would say that your house is luxurious, but it's not. It's just average. So they say you live in a mansion, but it's not. It's average. You live in a five-bedroom house here. It's average. And you live in a very big uh, lot, like equivalent to the Philippine lot would be 800 uh, square square meters to 1,000 a, a uh, square meter lot, a big backyard, there's a pool. So those are just like uh, the, the things that you can benefit from working in Texas. Like, so if you, in your, in your days off, like you have your, your house, basically, I mean, sometimes you don't need to go out. Just like all, all of the entertainment is in your house. Uh, you have the pool. We don't have the pool yet, but probably in the future we'll we'll Oh that's think, we'll think about the it. Yeah. Pool. The then, yeah. Pool, <laughs> uh, yeah, the the, the the price the pricing of the houses depends on the the area as what you said. So uh Ke Keller, Texas is more expensive than Fort Worth. Uh -huh. Pl Plano is more expensive than Fort Worth. And Fort Worth is also expensive. So basically Northern Texas is more expensive than any other places in Texas. Okay. So the, the, the houses right now are expensive, but yes. it, it doesn't mean that it's not affordable. It is still affordable because you, you earn a lot here. So um, the, 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 the culprit for the, 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 the price right now is um, COVID. It's the same, COVID. So there's no enough supply. Mm -hmm. Everything are expensive. The cement is expensive. The wood is expensive. So basically when you're looking at a house before like a four hundred thousand dollar house it's now six hundred thousand so in a, in a span of a year time it throws up to by, by two hundred thousand but the good thing right now is the because of the covid also the the annual percentage rate or the interest rate is is lower so when we came in here the annual percentage rate was still high it was like 5.5 percent right now it's going three percent but next year they said it's it's gonna go up again but um, anyhow, either or, I mean, uh, it's it's still affordable. Your your salary is still more than enough for you to be able to purchase a house. So, yeah, yeah we we we'll, um, we're like inviting you to come here. Yeah, everything, everything is everything with your salary. Ev everything is affordable. You so, can get uh, can get a car. You can get a house. Like everything. Living, is more, living the American dream. Yeah, I mean. that's what when you ask. Like, how how are you? Living the dream, like everybody. Living the dream, living the dream. I love it. So, if you want to live the dream, like Ivan and Char, then apply to Kinetics USA to our website, and we'd be happy to help you. Mm -hmm. First step to getting your green card is always the end click. So, refer to the, the the Kinetic Success Path because, unfortunately, without the end clicks, you can't you can't do that.